Yeah. I need to reserve room in a hotel. And to confirm the booking, the customer service asked me to pay the fees online. But I got problems in using the online system. So I called the customer service. Ah, it's simple. You just pay by any pay, Zifu Bao. Oh, it's difficult. I, my bank card cannot work in the system. Oh, it doesn't matter. You can also pay by credit cards. I have tried, but your system cannot accept any of my cards. Oh, ah, it still doesn't matter. You can pay by online bank account. Have I made it clear? Your system cannot accept any payment from Hong Kong. There's a moment of silence on the phone. But during the conversation, I had the feeling the customer service just think I am a computer idiot. All my bank cards are fixed, just like other big products in China. My cards cannot work on real computer. Or she may even think I am a villager living in a remote city called Hong Kong. But finally, a voice appeared again on the phone. Ah, it's good. That means one country, two systems, still work in Hong Kong. <coughs> and you can come to China to open a bank account so you can enjoy our advanced service. You see, that proved what I was thinking. A Hong Kong villager need go back to China to enjoy their advanced service. So, on a sunny day, I went to Shenzhen to open a bank account. I was warmly welcomed by a pretty lady at the lobby. Her name is Angela. Angela asked me to fill in lots of application forms, mm. but I have much difficulty filling in the correct information. For example, for Form A, I need to fill in my 10 digits China to win permit number. But the form only provides me 8 bank boxes. So, how can you solve the problem? You see, from my appearance, I'm really a smart person. So, I squeezed the 10 digits into 8 bank boxes and gave the form to Angela. Angela had a look. She put a cross on the form. <laughs> sure? 8 boxes only allow 8 digits. You should declare the last 2 digits and fill the form again. From Angela's facial expression, it seems although I look smart, I'm really an idiot without any common sense. <laughs> Next, Angela, check the form B. This time, she put an even big cross on the form. Sure, how can you write the numbers in Arabic, Arabic numerals? You should write in Chinese words. But I don't know how to write numbers in simplified Chinese. Hmm. Okay, you can copy from the template. Angela, look at me with a mysterious smile. At that moment, I was sure Angela think I'm a villager with little education. So, so that I need to fill in form C, form D, and form D. I asked Angela in detail how to fill in correctly. And suddenly, Angela asked me, Sir, may I know your education level? <laughs> <laughs> I was sure what she was thinking. So, after I complete all the TV's documents, and I asked Angela to have a final chat. Sure? Can you write your signature properly so I can read it? Dear ladies and gentlemen, not until that day did I realize I need to write my signature properly and in Chinese so other people can read it. I want to argue with Angela, but you know, she got a baby face. So I surrendered to a request. And totally, I spent one hour to finish all the documents. And then Angela gave me a bank card. Angela asked me to input a password to activate the card. And then we entered it to confirm the password. So finally, I, bought my, I got my bank card and, did, and then left the bank with a smart, cheerful smile. Why? Because I'm a Toastmaster. I stepped out of my comfort zone, challenged myself, and got my first bank card in China. Bingo. 
So why I'm walking with my head 45 degrees upward for 10 seconds? <laughs> I saw an ATM machine. This mysterious voice hovered in my head. Do you think you can leave Angela so quickly? Have you tested the card? So I immediately throw in my card into the ATM machine and then punch in my password. Some horrible words appear. Password is incorrect. Please enter again. I key in again. The same words appear again. I knew I need to encounter with Angela once more. <laughs> oh, sir, you may forgot the correct password. How can it be? I just came two times at the counter 10 minutes ago. Oh, then you may damage the car accidentally. I wish I had. I want to break the car into pieces and step on it, but I didn't. Okay, no problem, sir. Uh, I can replace the car for you, but you need um, $50, $100. <laughs> <laughs> Angel came on tell me, I need to pay the replacement cost. And at that moment, I had the feeling, although Angel got a baby face, she had become a devil. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we Chinese people do have many good things. For example, one inch time is equal to one inch gold. And I didn't want to waste any more time on Angela with no reward. And another thing, a good man to never fight against a lady. So I gave up arguing, paid my money to Angela, and got my new cast. Thank you. <laughs>